We do this every summer. We introduce the newest recruits to our basketball team. And for all you campers in attendance, hope you're learning a lot, hope you're working hard at your basketball skills, and I want to let you know that at some point, all of these young men were sitting where you are right now. They were learning how to play basketball, and they have advanced to a very high level. Thank you, Bill. Um, thank you to everyone who's here. This is a great turnout, probably our best turnout in the, uh, in the three years I've been here. Um, campers, awesome opportunity for you today to essentially connect with the future of our basketball program and what is the next, I guess the next group or the next line of great players that we've been able to recruit here to McMaster. We brought in three outstanding athletes. Um, we play an up-tempo style here, uh, we're aggressive defensively and adding players like Hamid, Trevon and Leon add to that. Additionally, to build some depth at the point guard position was something we were looking to do, and we've done that very, very effectively with both Hammond and Trevon able to play the point. Um, first I'd like to introduce is Hammond Nessick. Hammond is a graduate from ACMT High School in Hamilton, 94% uh, student wants to be a doctor. And so it's really important when you look at that to understand you have a young man who loves the game of basketball, wants to play professionally, but has an end goal of being a doctor. And I think that's an amazing thing and it's what we pride ourselves on here at McMaster, being able to have the, the whole package, a student athlete that has athletic goals, but also academic goals and career goals, and Hammond um, is synonymous with that. Sim Oh, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I'll be, I'll for sure have fans, family members always around, so that'd be great. It's not like going somewhere else where it's further and always missing, I mean, family company and friends, so that'd be awesome. Now, you've got an outstanding academic average as well as being a highly ranked basketball player. Lots of options for where you could have gone to university. What tipped the scales to make you want to be a marauder? Um, for one was the fact that uh, McMaster's a pretty good academic school, right? Uh, they're also very good in the medical field and wanting to become a doctor, that was one of my, my main choices academically. And second, uh, Coach Amos and the whole basketball program is awesome as well, so I felt like I could really come in, belong, and contribute as well, so that was one of the main reasons. There's, Trevon McNeil is going to be wearing number four for us. That was the number he wore in high school. It is also the number of one of our great players, Scott Laws, who graduated this year. So big shoes to fill, but I'm very confident that Trevon can fill those shoes. So let's give Trevon a round of applause. And uh, Trevon, you're from Oakville. The last two OUA West rookies of the year have been from Oakville. No pressure. How do you feel about that? Well, it, it's good. It's good pressure to have. Like it's something that that will make me want to work harder. Uh, and then on the same time, at, at the same time, I can also ask them for advice if I, if I need anything. So the fact that they're both from Oakville kind of it helps a bit. You must know Rohan Boney and Adam Prasuti pretty well, having played against them uh, over the years. Yeah, definitely. Um, first, my first high, my first senior year. When I was grade 11, we played them. We didn't, we didn't win, but it was, it was a good experience to have playing them because at that time they were like the top two school in the country. So just being able to have them in your, in your conference in Oakville was just was nice to have. It helps you work harder. Better to have them on your side now. Oh, definitely. definitely. Now, you're local in the sense that Oakville's not too far away, but you had lots of options for where you were going to go to school. What tipped the scales to bring you to McMaster? Oh, family. Like, as soon as I, like, just the feeling when I got here, like, I got here, my high school team and, and me are like we're like we're really close because I see them every day, right? And when I came here, like it's like I never left. Like they are they're close like that. They like when I first they welcomed me with open arms, like and they're hard workers at the same time. And the coaches the coaches are, are good and they're hard on you. I felt like this was just a, a good fit for me, and I want to surround myself with with what McMaster uh, uh, provided. I want to introduce Leon, and I, I want to just give a quick side note. Uh, Leon and Hammett both wanted number three. 
And originally we'd given him a number three, but he was nice enough to give Leon an opportunity by having a shooting contest last week for the number three. You can see who won that shooting contest based on who is wearing number three now. We have decided that Leon is going to wear either number five or six. So when you come to watch us play this year, you will see Leon wearing five or six. He's a very interesting player for us. This is not a common route to McMaster. Leon had an outstanding high school career, went down to Iowa Central Community College and looked to make the move into D1. Went down there, had a decent experience, but not what he was expecting. Ended up coming back to Canada. And the link to us is that he played high school basketball with Aaron Redpath. They were very, very successful teammates at J. Clark Richardson and Ajax. Leon is a dedicated student, has really embraced our culture here at MAC, needs to be pushed all the time like all our guys, because I don't think even Leon realizes his potential. This is a player with an NBA body on our program, and he's got the game to take him to a very, very high level. When he, when he puts his mind to it and his work ethic is high, he's as good as any player we've seen in the gym here in my time at MAC, and that's a long time. Leon is going to be an explosive addition to our basketball program. All these guys are competing to start immediately, which puts positive pressure on our team in practice. These are guys you're going to see make huge impacts immediately, pay huge dividends for our program. We are very, very excited to have Leon here. He takes our athleticism to another level. These three guys are really, really game changers for us. So, Leon, thank you for choosing McMaster. Come on up. Let's give him a round of applause. A big part of the reason you came to McMaster was your friendship with Aaron Redpath. Tell me a little bit about that. I mean, me and Aaron grew up together uh, in Ajax. Knew him since about mm, grade five, playing basketball in the street. And just went through high school, all of that. We lived together. So he's pretty much my brother. So that's our relationship. And I hear he recruited you a little bit to come here? Yeah, yeah. He was on me every day once I was out of school. He was on me every day. Hey, come to our games. Come, come down, chill at my house, all this. And then he introduced me to coaching. It went, went good from there. Now, you've uh, been out for a year. You played a year at Iowa Central uh, Community College. Yep. You must be desperate to get back on the court. Yeah, yeah. I'm very desperate. I want, I've been missing basketball for a year. I'm, I'm ready to get back. I've been working hard with these guys. We're a tight-knit family. I think we've got a really good team this year. Uh, Coach Amos Conley, we introduced three new Marauders today. Tell me a little bit about this recruiting class. Uh, in my time here, this is the most athletic group we've had. Um, they just bring a, a versatility and an explosiveness to our to our lineup that we haven't had. We have outstanding talent now and a very good base. These players add depth and they fit our style of play. We like to be an up-tempo team. We like to pick up aggressively, defensively. Uh, these three guys all contribute to that. So what was already a fairly high-octane offense just became more powerful. Um, and I think for coaches and players and fans, that's the way we want to play here, especially on the defensive end. I think Hamilton takes pride in that, and I know we do at McMaster. It's a long-standing tradition of McMaster defense, and these guys fit that for certain. Now we're heading into year four of the Connolly plan. Uh, with these three newcomers added to what you've already got in place, expectations for the coming year? Yeah, this, there's a next, this is a next step year for us. This is a year where we want to get to nationals, and I'll say that with 100% confidence. We've toyed with it, we've gotten close, we've been in the top three, blah, blah, blah. At a certain level, these guys have won nothing and I think they know it. Um, adding these three players, even though they're young and they're gonna get a lot of minutes and there's still gonna be some development there, we have to set our standard as a national championship. And so this year has to be a, a, a year when we get to the nationals. Now you've had a lot of recruiting success. You've usually snared the top target that you've had your eye on, if not the top two or three. What's the secret to the Conley recruiting pitch? You know what, I think what we do truthfully is we're just quality versus quantity. We don't, we, we identify guys that we think are gonna be good fits. And then we really focus our energies on those players and we make them we make them realize that we want them to be part of our family and that's certainly what happened here. Um, every kid is different and they all have different motivations, but I think if you're you're one of thirty recruits, it's hard to feel 
it's hard to feel special or feel wanted. And I think what we do a very good job of is zeroing in on players we think are good fits. We lose one or two now and then, but it, it has proven to be a pretty successful process over the last three years. Amos Connolly, coach of the Marauders, and introducing the 2013 recruiting class for Marauder basketball. Thanks, coach. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Very excited.